Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wyzant, answering a question submitted by a student having to do with rotations. And, you know, there are a bunch of different rotations and you can memorize them or you can just try to reason them out. And we're just going to reason this one out. And you can always, as they say, you could always memorize it. So here's a point, negative 4, 5. So we're going to put this here, negative 4, comma 5. And we're going to do something that's done all the time when you get a little further along in school. I'm assuming you're in geometry now. But let's make a little right triangle here. And this is a 4 here, negative 4. And here's your 5. Now, the hypotenuse is this. And you can see we've got basically like the hand of a clock, you know. Here's the, here's the hand of the clock right here. And this is going to be, we could do Pythagorean theorem here. It would be the square root, the length of this hand of the clock would be 25 plus 16. So that would be uh, 41, square root of 41. Whatever that distance is, it's going to remain the same. And 180 degrees, since we're not given any more, anything more specific, we're going to move 180 degrees counterclockwise, which is in the positive direction here. And what we're going to do, let me change color, is we're just going to actually, I want to keep this color. See, because this is the hand on the clock, and it had a square it had a length of the square root of 41 and it's still going to have the length of the square root of 41 here it's just a hand on a clock but now we want to figure out okay what does this triangle look like and how do we do that well these two triangles are going to be congruent they're the same the height is going to be 5, but you see now the 5 is negative. And then this could be 4. Now it could be the other way around, but that wouldn't make much sense. You're going to, I think you can see the symmetry here. And you're going to have to imagine this point, you know, coming around to here. And what's in front of the point, if you think about Let's think about it traveling. Maybe this would help. So it's traveling around like this in this direction. And you could see this. This 5 is always going to be the leading edge of this. So as this moves, uh, the whole triangle is going to be moving. And this whole this edge here is going to be the leading edge as it rotates around. And you can see that it will end up here, and this is the same leading edge. If I were to say, okay, this, this green part is the leading edge, this is going to be the leading edge when you end up here. So your answer is, uh, is positive 4, negative 5, 4, comma 5. And just think about that rotation all the way around until this top ends up here. See the same dot. These two dots are the same. So that's one way to remember it. The other way to remember it is to just memorize. A 180 degree rotation about the origin is just, just going to change. Oops just going to change the sign. That's a negative 5. You can see I have a negative 5 here. It's just going to change the sign of each of the coordinates.
it's but you can also do it visually instead of memorizing. I mean, there are a lot of different rotations that you could be asked about, but typically they're asked, they'll ask about 90 and 180 and 270. They're generally, those are gonna be the ones that are asked the most. And you can figure them out or you can look them up on the internet and get an answer that way. Um, and then you can just you can just memorize them based on on what you're seeing. So this rotation is, you know, fairly easy to remember anyway. You just change the sign on the point. But I think it's a little more interesting, and it helps develop your your visual uh, thinking capacity if you just do a sketch and then just think about this rigid hand on a clock that's going all the way around uh, with this being the leading edge. Okay, I hope that helps. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.